Thank you for joining us on the Evangel Art Show this evening. We are glad to have you. And this evening, actually, I have a very, very smart-looking brother that I will be doing the show with this evening. And his name is Elijah Eliaza Baba. I'm sure you know him. <laughs> You're welcome. Of Thank you very much. You look smart. Oh, yes, do you. Thank well, you. Let me just say thank you too. Thank you have me first. <laughs> um, Elijah, you have been with Evangel Art of Equa for a very long time. Yeah. But I'll, I'll allow you to tell us for how long. And then the first event you did with Evangel Art of Equa and how you were featured on the event. Oh, okay. This question actually is getting me nostalgic because it's, <laughs> it's, um, it's been a long time. Um, I think started Evangel Arts 2018, mm -hmm. 2018, and the first event was Worship the King 2018. Mm -hmm. I remember it was it was an awesome event, like the first of its kind mm. in Jaws, and I want to say in Plateau State. In fact, permit me to say in Nigeria. You are allowed to oh, say please, anything. Of course. <laughs> so that was the first ever event I was part of mm -hmm. with Evangel Arts. And ever since, it has been a glorious journey. Mm. Like, it has been a growth phase for me, a growth process. And I'm really glad, I'm really grateful to God for the opportunity and the platform to actually be part of this. It's It's been amazing. And you can attest to that. You're yeah, also a big fan of Evangel Arts. <laughs> Okay, you've been with us for a long time, and yeah. what are you known for in Evangel Art of Equa? Okay, um, basically I'm known for drumming as okay. a drummer. Yeah, I'm mostly a drummer. Or sometimes I make people happy, I make people laugh as part of Evangel Artists. Wait, because, of course. what do you mean by that? Of course, being part of Evangel Arts, being part of the family mm -hmm. Evangel Art, it's not just... Um, the music part or the drumming part for me. It's mm. a family. And mm. a family, there's love, there's joy, you share happiness and all that. And I have all that to give. Glory oh. be to God. So you're you a know? comedian now? Not really a comedian because <laughs> I don't go on stage for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Anytime you're on stage, Elijah, how do you feel? Hmm. I really feel elated and... Sometimes, sometimes I can get very nervous. Mm. Yes, especially at the start of um, the event or at the start of any of the plays or any of the songs I'm to mm. play. But then it's it's an exciting it's an exciting um, situation because um, I'm actually upstage doing what I love doing, which is playing drums, mm. and then um, being part of a bigger thing because playing drums is just part of the whole music, mm. there are a lot of instruments, there are a lot of singers. So being part and adding my own flavor and adding my own um, style to the whole music, it's it's exciting and it even gives me the um, the push to actually work well, mm. grow better and add more skills to myself so that I can display more to the glory of God. Okay. Yeah. With all this plenty grammar you've been speaking. <laughs> I think I would personally like to know what is your identity outside music? Okay, my identity outside music. Um, okay, I am a microbiologist okay. by profession. Okay. Yeah, and I work with um, a pharmacy, mm. we produce drugs. And so outside music, mm. I am a microbiologist and I am also um, a youth worker. Mm. And yeah, that's basically it. So if I'm not doing music, I'm working at the office or I'm working with the youths. So my life revolves around this. And then it gives me great joy doing all that mm. because I want to believe that's my calling. That's where God has actually called me to fulfill my purpose on earth here. Yeah. So if I'm not doing music, um, I'm working, I'm producing drugs for the health of mankind, mm. or I'm working with youth for their spiritual, physical, and academic growth. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and uh, would you say drumming is a career to you, or you're just doing it for just the passion? Well, drumming is not a career for me. It's the passion, mm. right? And... Yeah, it's, it's a great passion because I love doing it. I enjoy doing it. Mm. So anytime I'm called upon to drum or anytime I have the opportunity to drum, I do it with all joy. Mm. It's not a career as to say I'm taking it up to 
work towards it to use it to earn a living or something. Mm. No, but I just do it for the fun, do it for the passion and for the love of, for the love of it and love of music. You know, the fear in what you just said is probably he would stop one day because he's just like, um, he's just doing it for the passion. And I understand that doing something for the passion can yeah. actually last long, but also it can stop because you have other things you would do, you know, that will fetch you money, you know, from what you're doing, producing drugs. And I'm sure that um, would be something you would want to do for a lifetime. And music comes second. Am I supposed to uh, uh, believe that music is second? Like mm. drumming is secondary. Like it's not something you um mm, you would say you want to do for a very long time. Or would you want to still do it for a very long time? I would actually love to do it for a very long time because you I can retire from my profession, but I'll never retire from music. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so after several years of work with mm. the office, there was, there's definitely a time I'll retire mm. and then I'll continue my music. Because that's why I'm still doing it. I would have stopped long ago mm. because of um, the schedule of work mm. and the nature of work. But because of the love, I do my best to find every little time I can to actually do the music. So that goes a long way to make me understand that, okay, this, this thing you're doing is, is not just for the meantime. It's a lifetime. It's a passion. It's a calling. And it's a talent you can't afford to let die. To be honest, for the little I know you, you are yeah. a very, very busy person. <laughs> very, <laughs> like, very you're busy. always tired. You're always doing something. Okay. And sometimes I really wonder, like, how do you manage your timing? How do you balance it, the music thing, and then, you know, your work? And, you know, working with Evangel Arts of Equa, we really do need everybody's time. Definitely. And <laughs> you would know from the rehearsal, especially when we have events, you... You have to dedicate your time for the rehearsal all night and everything. And then you still go back to your work. Would you say it's challenging or you have a way of balancing it? To be very honest, it's really, really challenging. I cannot lie about that. Because um, imagine my work is um, 8 to 4.30. Hmm. And I have to be in the office all the time, like all the time. And then... We have rehearsals, evangel arts, uh, mostly rehearsals begin four or three down to six. So you can see the time is actually very little. Um, and then um, going back um, home, there are things you need to do at home, the things mm. I need to do at home. So managing the time is actually very, very tedious for mm. me. But Philippians 4.13 tells me I can do all things mm -hmm. through Christ who strengthens me. So... Honestly, God has been helping me. It hasn't been easy, mm. for a fact. It hasn't been easy. There are days that I'm like, oh, should I just drop this thing for like a month and face this one? I should just, even if I want to, my body but will I'm not sure let me. I'm sure you would want to drop your career no, for I the drum wouldn't, But even the music, my body wouldn't let me because I can't stay without listening to music or trying to play drums in my head, mm. in my mind. And then, so there's no way I can just drop it. So, so it's, I just, so it's yeah. the same thing with, you know, musicians. They'll be like, the inspiration just came, one music inspiration just came to their head and then they just want to write it down. So it's also the same thing it's with drumming too. I can be doing something, let's say, okay, I run analysis in the lab, like basically we mm. test for the medicines we produce to mm -hmm. make sure they're actually um, safe for um, ingestion. So sometimes I can be working on something that comes to my mind and I'll start hitting the table and working on People are working with, they'll be like, are you okay? Come on, relax, you're still working. <laughs> but that's the love of the music for yeah. me. That's, that's how it, it works. And it's, it's fun, it's good, mm. it's stressful. But for the love of it, I don't really care about the stress because God mm. actually helps me through it. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. All right, everyone. We are live on Facebook and we are live on your TV and you can call us and make your contribution. Elijah Eliaza Baba is in the studio with us this evening. You can call and heal him. Yeah. He's a smart guy. And then I would want to ask you something, but we'll have to take a music break. When we come back, I'll ask you. And the Holy Spirit is your invigilator. You have to answer with all honesty. Okay. <laughs> I hope all I right, can. let's take, um, you know, you've been with it, just the way you said, Worship the King um, is our first first event in Evangel Art yes. and you were part of it and we would like yes. to watch one of the um, videos, one of the songs, oh, I mean, wow. that, you know, you played on so that I would see your excitement, we would see that thing you're okay. saying, I would see, see if you were nervous on stage <laughs> that day. <laughs> Let's watch Mom Worship Shai. the King 
2018. Rowan Ray will be right back. So you sing too? Yes, I sing. <laughs> it's a silent, it's a, it's a quiet <laughs> skill. Please don't tell anybody. Oh, don't but sh it's between you Eve, and I. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay, between you and I in the studio. <clears throat> yes, between you. Eva, I. ask you to sing now. Can you sing? <clears throat> I can try. Depends okay, on try. The song. Just give us a little from the Ruben Ray. Yes, Ruben Ray. When the Yasha say Sami Ray. See, I love you. No, it's nice. Go on. Oh, yeah, no, it. Curl back a shot. <laughs> Curl back a shot. Well, just maintain the drumming. Okay. Yes. Okay. Maintain the drumming. And before we went for the uh, break, I, 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 I didn't, I, I'm not forgetting this. I said if we get back, I was going to ask you something. Don't you forget. Elijah, Don't Elijah, you forget. Elijah. I cannot ah. forget it. Okay. How has been the traffic? You know, you are a smart looking guy. Your words are smart too, and I'm wow. sure um, as, you know, Evangel Art of Equa, we project our, uh, our ministers out there and people have been seeing them. And then some of the sisters, I would call them sisters, but sometimes oh, they are not really gentle when it comes to, you know, being a sister. And then there's like, they are coming to give you a little bit of distraction and all that. So do we say <coughs> Elijah has distraction out there, or uh, Elijah has a sister out there. <laughs> this, is, this question is a setup. I, I, I just knew you were going to ask this question. Why? It's a setup. It's I've a, not asked a, anybody a, this question before. Wow, so why am I the first? Okay, it's, well, it's a setup. It's, a setup. it's not. It's not. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you want me to change the question for okay. you? No, no. I, I can answer. I can oh, okay. answer. God help me. Mm -hmm. I would answer. <laughs> yeah, um, we can't run you. I can't run you from the fact that, yeah, there are distractions mm. once in a while at some points. But then what, what keeps me focused is um, the goal. Mm. The goal is actually to reach out to life through what I do. Mm. And then what I do is a part of a whole bigger picture. Mm. So it's, so when, when I think of what... Um, how my distraction will affect the bigger picture, mm. it puts me in line. Because it's, it's more like saying there's a big bowl of mm. um, water and then there's a puncture somewhere. Mm. This, the bowl is trying to hold water, but that puncture is leaking. So it's affecting the whole content mm. you get. So if my part, if I'm lacking in my part, it affects the whole body. Mm -hmm. So that keeps me in check and that helps me to actually maintain the status quo. You know, it's it's not easy. Really, it's not easy. May the Lord help you. Amen. Please keep on praying for us. <laughs> okay. How would you say Evangel Arts of um, of Equa has you know 
helped you so far in your journey of music and as a person and spiritually also? Wow. Wow. That is huge because it has helped me in a very, very huge way. Mm. Honestly, I am... Let me try and be as honest and decent as possible. Mm. Let me not blow it all up, but then it's really <laughs> true that it has helped me. Mm. Growth spiritually, because how I was playing 2018 is actually different from how I'm playing now. I could see the way you were in the spirit, you it, know? It, oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, okay. Let me not talk, but celebrate grace. Mm. Celebrate grace, yes. Definitely. Yes. Um, there has been growth, massive mm. growth. And with the fact that I walk amongst other musicians, great musicians that have gone far and wide. Um, in, there's, there's this urge to push yourself and get to their level. So on a daily basis, I do my best to practice, practice um, so that I can get better and grow because music is dynamic. So there's a whole different things that come up daily. Mm. And if you don't maintain the pace, mm. you're going to be left behind. Yeah. Trust me, you'll be left behind. So I, I do my best to, to put up and then, so maintaining, um, maintaining my move with Evangel Arts, maintaining my relationship with Evangel Arts and other members of Evangel Arts helps me a lot because, okay, every day I see new things. I'm like, oh, I need to get up, I need to get up. Okay. What was attainable yesterday is no more today so I need to move with the pace and then spiritually of a truth when we started I was like is this not music why are we doing prayer and fasting every day we are praying we are fasting on ah, we are supposed to come out and rehearse we have at least two hours we pray and fast one hour 30 minutes I'm like okay so what do we do we have 30 minutes mm -hmm. but then as much as we complain we complain but we can't deny the fact I can't deny the fact that there has been spiritual growth mm -hmm. because beyond the skills mm. you need god's spirit to actually lead mm. sometimes you can play the simplest things in music and then when you have the spirit move mm. it will give the best results you need mm. and evangel arts has understood that strength and then we actually work with it so it it has really helped it has really helped thanks to the whole family for pushing me and for pushing each other to actually go go ahead. It's it's fun. It's fun. From the beginning, though, it was not. It was not prayer and fasting every day. But then, now we've seen the use. We've seen the importance, and it's great. Okay. It's great. Earlier, you mentioned that you work with the young people. Yeah. And I would like to know what is that deliberate thing you're doing? You know, to impact these young people. Okay. Um, apart from one on one. Um, meetings, one-on-one -on -one discussions, conversations, and work. Um, I work with the young people through different platforms. One of them is the um, Young and Saved show on mm. Equa Television, where mm. we discuss issues pertaining to young ones and like come down to to share their pain and then see how we can work towards um, um, how do I put it towards sailing through all the hardships and all the growth processes of teenage, um, teenage and then the youth age. Um, that has helped a lot because there have been a lot of testimonies, mm. people that listen to the discussions, listen to conversations, and then um, they say they really get and learn a lot. So it's a platform because you actually reach out to a whole lot of people and then they listen and they hear, and we, we, we do our best to, to use the Bible as a yardstick, use mm -hmm. the Bible as a guide, which is our ultimate, mm -hmm. is our ultimate guide to, to help work with. And then also, I work with the Equa Camp Youth Alive okay. here, um, and then so it's, it's a yearly camp organized for teenagers and youth, where we um, spend a whole week with them from each, each of the days, from morning to evening, we are together with them, different activities. So finding different, through those activities, we impact their lives. We, we grow together with them. Um, and then, you know, one thing with youth is you, you don't just tell them things and do different things. Mm -hmm. So we do the things we tell them 
so that they would see examples from mm. us and then learn. And it has helped a whole lot. It has helped them a whole lot. And I'm grateful to God for the privileges and the opportunities He has granted me to help. And I'm looking forward to more opportunities to work with them and do music together. And then the truth is, I think the most interesting part is that some of these youths are also into music. So mm. I use the music as well to reach out to them and it's fun. So imagine yeah. my whole life revolving around one thing and then God is using me to impact a whole lot of lives. I'm, I'm grateful to God. So you're a mentor now. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> okay, I'm happy for you though. Yeah. And I'm worship the king. <laughs> I'm happy for you and I'm happy for the generation. You know, we are creating. Yeah. And just the way you said, anything you're doing, you have to live like it for these people to exactly. follow. If not, they'll be like, what's this person saying? Well, you're telling me this. You're telling you're me this. this <laughs> yeah, so you're, you're, you're right. And Worship the King is coming again. Mm. We can't end the show without talking about Worship the King. Yes. Never. We yes. are counting down to the day. And then... 2021. Mm -hmm. we, can't, we, can't, we, know, we can't talk without talking about that. <laughs> Definitely. Like, everywhere I go, I talk about it. Even those that are that are not in Gumbe, even those that are not in Nigeria, I do my best to say, okay, guys, try and come. Even if you have to, like, save up etiquettes, be part mm. of the show. And if you can't, then part of it online. It's, Definitely. It's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. And then this time around, we are having it for two days. Yeah. You know, it's different. Yes. The first time was once. once. The second time, one once. day. And then this is the third time. The third and time. third time was also once. Okay, okay, okay. 18, 19, 19 20, 20, 21. You're right. Oh my God. Four years. This is. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> You're so accurate. And then we are doing it for two days, 15th and 16th, 16th. of October yeah. in Gombe. I'm telling you. You need to come, just the way Elijah always Gumbeta, tells we people. We are coming for you guys. Mm -hmm. We are say coming it, just to say it. enjoy the king with you. We are coming to worship the king. I know you can't worship the king without enjoying him. His presence mm -hmm. is always glorious. Mm -hmm. So please don't miss out. Mm -hmm. Don't miss out. <clears throat> Do not miss out, I'm telling you, because it's going to be... Um, you know, when we talk about worship the king, people don't really understand until when it's happening. And then you know one thing with worship the king... When you are present there yes. in the hall, like in the venue, when the thing is happening, you'll be like, oh my God, just come today. <laughs> That's where you feel it. Like, you know, you know, you know, goosebumps. Mm -hmm. Like the goosebumps will be as, oh my God. Hmm. I don't want to, I can't talk. I can't talk too much. Yeah, we don't need to talk too much because nah, that day will definitely tell what is going to happen. Yes. Come with expectation. Just the way the CEO would always say, Anytime we have event in Evangel Art of Ekwa, mm. he would say, come with expectation. Whatever it is, is it sickness? Is it want? Because trust course, me, people are suffering. Course. People are in their need of so many things. A whole and, lot. You know, they'll be like, ah, this life, what is it? And why are these people worrying us with music when things are hard and you're talking about music? You know, a whole lot of times we can say, we, 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 we say sometimes that living in Nigeria alone, is, 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 is heartache. So come with expectations that the Nigeria we're living in today will get better. Nigeria Definitely. will change. And then God will meet our needs. Definitely God will meet, God our, will meet our needs. So yeah. don't worry about your situation. Don't worry about anything you're going through. Just come and worship him in spirit and in truth. And you know it will just happen. It will definitely happen for you. Sure. It has happened for so many people. We are not just saying it testimonies because we want you to come. Home, yeah. We have had testimonies from people, yeah. you know, saying, during Worship the King, this happened, this happened, and all. So truly, come to Worship the King 2021 and your life will never never, never remain never. the same elijah <clears throat> before we go you are going to play on worship the king what should people expect from you <laughs> expect a spirit filled elijah <laughs> oh. <laughs> i like the, the laugh actually the first laugh when i asked elijah what should people expect from you say la laugh again yeah <laughs> <laughs> expect a spirit filled elijah expect mm -hmm. every stroke to strike a chord in your head hmm. every stroke to actually minister to you because that's how i expect god to use me wow so it's it's more like i'm not singing but i'm playing so whatever i'm playing should strike a healing chord in someone's hmm. heart so whatever expectation you're coming with expect my strokes to actually heal you and touch hmm. you. what should people expect from me okay. well i am not asking you i'm asking myself okay so you answer <laughs> expect yourself expect a spirit moved Magdalene. Mm, wow. 
Oh, I'm coming with that expectation, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes, yes, trust me. You know, anytime he's worship the king, I just feel like, oh my God, this is the time for me to get. You know, it doesn't have to be like, okay, I I really want God to do this thing for me, but I still really want God to do this for me. Yeah. But when you're going there, don't just go there because you want him to do something for you. Be deliberate in your worship to of God. Course. Always. And he is going to just do it for you. You understand? Yeah. So everyone that is going to come to worship the king, even as you're expecting God to do something for you, worship him in spirit and in truth. The truth there is not, uh, the truth there is for you to come because you want to worship him. And he is going to move. You know, he's going to move in your life. And, and you know, worship, worship is not a one day thing. It's mm. not just for that day. Mm. Worship is a continuous process. So mm -hmm. you begin worship the king from now till that time mm. and after then. Mm -hmm. I know what happens after the music mm. stops. That's what matters the most. Yeah, you have heard it from Elijah. It yeah. is nice having you here. Yeah, thank I you had for having fun, me actually. too. Like, yes. You made me laugh. <laughs> You're a comedian. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at I you. I know I'm shy. You know, you, you got me very, very bold and courageous. I think We you. are going. What do you have to tell them in one second, please? We do not have time. In one second, please stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. All right. Thank you very much for being here. We appreciate you for giving us 30 minutes of your time, you know, to talk about our dear Elijah and then Worship the King. Please, we are expecting you all to come for Worship the King 2021 in Gombe. See you next time and may God bless you all. Yeah. Bye. Bye.